Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. We are commanded to love each other. It is a beautiful day to be a black American woman, and we should always keep that in mind. For those who may not know, this man's name is Sammy Sosa. He is a retired baseball player, played with the Chicago Cubs, outstanding baseball player for many years. I think he played in the major leagues for 18 years. He's worth about $70 million, so he did quite well in Major League Baseball. He is from the Dominican Republic, and the Dominican Republic is an interesting place because it is um it was a colony of Spain captured Africans were brought into the Dominican Republic in slave ships just like they were brought here in slave ships so to that extent Sammy Sosa's family could be related to some of our families so they went into slavery a hundred years before we did so in the United States, they say slavery began in 1619. Well, in the Dominican Republic and Latin America, it began in 1519. Sammy Sosa speaks Spanish, and a lot of the Spanish-speaking people of African descent choose not to identify with their African ancestry, but with their Spanish colonizers. So they like to say they're Spanish, even though they don't come from Spain and now their kinfolk came from Spain. But they say they're Spanish, and many of us say they say that so they don't have to say they're black. In fact, they do say they're not black. They say, we're not black, we're Dominican. So by their definition, Dominican is supposed to be a race all to itself with a multicultural population. So there's something like the Somalis. Somalia is in Africa, but they have a little bit of different skin tone and a little bit of different hair. Some of them, not all. And they say, we're not African. We're not black. We're Somali. Just like Somalia is some planet or continent all to itself because they don't want to identify with the darker skinned Africans. So this is what goes on in the world of African descended people. Again, Dominican Republic, it has to be said, and Haiti share an island. They are, they are bordering countries, but the Haitians are darker skinned than the Dominicans. So ever so often, they'll have a house cleaning in Dominican Republic because you know people go back and forth from country to country. A lot of Haitians live in the Dominican Republic. And so they want to run all the Haitians out because they don't want to become darker skinned just like North Africa and all other places where lighter skinned people live. They don't want a lot of dark skinned people there because they don't want their population to become darker. They like the lighter skin. But back to Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa is a black man by what we would call black, but they call themselves Hispanic. So it always looks like they are running away from their blackness. Now, that's how it looks to me and maybe to other black Americans. And they get really upset, some of them do, if you call them black. But they did come from Africa, or their ancestors did come from Africa. Now, I'm doing all this talk about Sammy Sosa, who really is a very nice-looking man, I think. Um, because apparently he was not satisfied with himself as a black man. He was not satisfied with what he looked like. So he did what many people do, especially outside of the United States. He did this. He turned himself into an imitation white man. So he really does not look like the same person. If you looked at him and just didn't know who it was, you would think it was a white man. I mean, he went all the way past mixed Hispanic into white territory. So is this cultural appropriation? Because when white people do it, when a white woman darkens her skin and wears braids or some type of textured hairstyle, black women have a fit and say it's cultural appropriation. 
So if a white woman turning herself into a black woman is cultural appropriation, a black man turning himself into a white man is also cultural appropriation. Now, there are those who would call this self-hatred the epitome of self-hatred. He went on and got himself some green or some gray looking eyes. And he did something with his hair like he's got a perm here because his original hair was much more textured, coiled or whatever we call that kind of hair. We used to call it nappy, but now you can't say nappy because people will get upset. But that's what it was. And he just really went the whole hog. I don't think he changed his nose. So this is the reincarnation of Sammy Sosa. On the left, you have a handsome, happy-looking black man. And on the right, you have an artificial, plastic-looking white man. So I like the black guy better. But what say you? Now, this is not my business or anybody else's. So those of you who like to write these long anthologies, when you comment on something, you can save it. I know this is not my business, but I'm asking the question. And since you're on the channel, you can answer it. Is this cultural appropriation or is it self-hatred? They have a real problem down there in the Dominican Republic with skin color and colorism. There are those Afro-Latinos who really are dark-skinned, like Sammy Sosa, who are really struggling for their identity and who are trying to honor their African ancestry. But then you've got the others who will say, no, 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 no. We're, Domin we're Dominican. We're Dominican. And they want to separate from that African ancestry. Or if they admit their African ancestry, they'll just do it because somebody pressures them into, a do, into doing it. But it, you get the impression that they really do not want to identify as black. And that's what the, the whole thing is. They don't mind saying their great, 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 great grandfather came from Africa, but that doesn't mean they're black. And there are those of us who say that they're not. And then there are those of us who don't care what they call themselves. But when you go to the extent that this man did, Folks going to talk about you. And that's the bottom line. Now, yes, in black America, we have colorism. We have a colorism issue. But this is, to me, extreme. The only black American that I can think of that went to this extreme to change himself is Michael Jackson, the late Michael Jackson. And we always thought Michael Jackson was kind of weird after he got to be a grown person. He was doing weird things. So when he started changing his skin tone and came up and said he had that, whatever, whatever they call that skin disease, um, vertigo or something like that, some people believed it and some didn't because his sister said she didn't know anything about him having that disease. But he was always kind of strange. But Sammy Sosa was popular. He was a bit he-man. He came across as being down to earth and grounded. So it was surprising, I think, to a lot of people when he came up looking like a white man. He seemed like somebody that had it together. And for him to go and do something this drastic, I think the baseball world was shocked. It was really interesting listening to the white sportscasters commenting on it. Because they had to tread very lightly. But they were surprised by it too. One of them said, he doesn't look anything like Sammy Sosa. And I'm not really sure what they make of it. They, you know, because they don't make a big deal out of cultural appropriation like black people do. But you have to wonder, what is going on in the mind and the heart of a person who would do something like this? And we are quick to judge each other and say, why do they do that? They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Oh, they hate themselves or they don't want to be black. But we really don't know other people's story. We don't know what went on in the childhood of this young man or during his upbringing or in the country that he lives in where nobody wants to be black. We live in America and even though we have a colorism problem, a black person would get right up in your face and tell you there's nothing wrong with me being black. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I had a dark-skinned black girl in my fourth grade class one day to stand up and tell some boys there ain't nothing wrong with me 
because they called themselves trying to throw off on her because she was dark. But she was smart and she was savvy and she was beautiful. And she looked them dead in the eye and said, ain't nothing wrong with me. But they don't live in a country like that, I don't believe. I think they're all running away from their blackness. And that has to be painful. So it has to be some kind of dilemma to be born as a black man or a black person and think that you'll look better as a white person. And you may not. I don't think he looks better as a white person, but I like the black. Some people call this self-hatred now. Self-hatred. I hate my black skin so much, I'm going to turn myself into a white man and go all the way with it. Not light skin. I want to be white. So in a way, in the world of black people, you know, we have had some hurdles to cross. And it's been a hard, it, you know, it's been a hard, tough road to hoe. But in black America, it still would be unusual to do this. So I'm asking the question again, is it self-hatred or is it cultural appropriation or is it both? And why? Under what circumstance would somebody do something like this? Take a shot at it in the comment section. I'm curious to know what you think. Under what circumstance would you do something like this or under what circumstance would you think something like this is appropriate? He's not a black American, so, you know, it really is not our concern. He is a Dominican, but he is of African descent. And is it so bad to be a black person that you would do something like this? I never thought so. I like being black. I like the challenge of being black. And it is, and it is definitely a challenge. But I like the challenge. I like the journey. I like the survival I like the story of black America. I like the, the overcoming of all of this to be able to stand in our own truth and say we're proud. But I don't see how a person like this could do that when he goes and changes himself into an entirely different race almost. Now, this is not something that he has done recently. He did this about five or six years ago. So he's been a white man for some time now. And so he can weigh the difference between being a dark-skinned Dominican and a Dominican who really looks like an imitation white man. Because if you look closely, you can see that something's not quite right with that skin tone. Like it is with people who bleach their skin. When you look at them closely, and sometimes you don't have to look at them that closely, you can tell that they've done something to their skin. You can tell they bleached their skin. It just, it's just that simple. But if I could interview him, or if I could ask somebody who could interview him, I would ask him, was it worth it? Was it worth it? And does he feel better about himself now? I would want to know the answer to that question. Here's a picture of his wife and daughter. And so they blend in pretty well together. But his wife was with him when he was a dark-skinned black man. So it may not be that she put pressure on him. It could be that he put the pressure on himself because he just did not want to be a dark-skinned black man. And unlike some black people who bleach their skin, he acknowledges that he put on some kind of cream at night that had a bleaching agent. So he has not denied that he bleached his skin. So this is Sammy Sosa, and he bleached his skin because he did not want to be a black man. What do you think about that? Okay, let me know what you think about it. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.